So I was out Black Friday shopping earlier today, and by the way, has anyone noticed that Black Friday sucks nowadays? Black Friday used to be crazy. People used to stampede into stores. People would literally die shopping. People would die over TV deals now. It's like the Black Friday deals last for like two months long. And they're not even real deals anymore. They just mark stuff up and then cut it down by like 50% to make you think that you're saving. When in reality, everything is priced just about the same as it was before Black Friday. I, I, I hate it. <laughs> I used to always look at Black Friday growing up wishing that I could be part of the madness and now that I'm a now that I'm an adult and I have money to actually buy stuff, Black Friday freaking sucks. But anyways, I'm not here to talk about Black Friday. As I was shopping, I couldn't help but notice that there were a lot of people. There was an overwhelming amount of people out and about still wearing masks and I could tell by their social interactions and the way they were moving about that this had to have been probably one of their first times out of the house and who knows how long and I'm just sitting here kind of I, I look at these people like how dumb are you to still be wearing a mask but at the same time I feel bad for them because there are literally little kids who have not had a breath of fresh air in God knows how long. You can see by the look in some of these people's eyes that they're dead inside and that they just want to breathe a normal breath, but instead they're stuck behind a mask that they've probably been wearing for six months on end without washing. It's absolutely disgusting. But anyways... It's obvious that the last scamdemic, it really, it really, really affected people in a way that they may never recover from. But as we still watch our neighbors, as we still watch our neighbors and our town members still being brainwashed by this nonsense, as we watch and we can tell that these people have not got over the last scamdemic from a couple of years ago. There is a new scamdemic on the horizon, folks. A new one. A lot of people in America, they still haven't gotten over the beer bug. They're still scared for their lives to breathe. And now... There's a new mystery disease, a new mystery virus. They're calling it pneumonia without the cough, a.k.a. a disease with no... <laughs> oh, man. They're calling it pneumonia without the cough, a.k.a. Hey, we're going to say you got this even though you're showing no signs. You say you feel okay. Well, guess what? You got a deadly virus anyway. But anyways, over here in China, there's this new pneumonia-like sickness that is supposedly spreading everywhere. And listen, the hospitals over there are already reporting that they're being overrun with patients that they're being jam-packed. And that reminds me of the scamdemic here a couple of years ago. How hospitals were saying that they were at over capacity and, and they couldn't possibly take in all of these patients. Meanwhile, all of the nurses and doctors were busy making TikTok videos. They said the hospitals were overrun. When I went to the hospitals, it didn't look like that. They said the hospitals were overrun. And at the same time, every single day, thousands upon thousands upon thousands of nurse dancing TikTok videos were uploaded to the internet. Well, now in China, they say their hospitals are being overrun again. 
They're reissuing mask mandates, which is not a big deal over there because they're used to wearing masks. But now they're putting people on lockdown. They're bringing back social distancing. And it's only been a couple of weeks, right, since this has been going on. But it's already looking like it's looking like a carbon copy of what happened a few years ago, folks. And this has me worried because the last thing I want is to have to go through some more nonsense like we went through a couple of years ago. As I was just saying, there are thousands upon thousands, maybe even millions of Americans who have not gotten over it yet. They will never be the same. They will never live a normal life. They will live in fear, breathing through four inches of cloth. We can't handle another scandemic. We cannot shut down the economy again. But just as we feel like we're, we're getting back to some sense of normalcy, here we are yet again, folks, on the brink of something. I, I don't even know what to call it because who knows what this may turn into. Next week, maybe we'll never hear anything about this again and we'll all forget about it. Or who knows, within the next couple of weeks, we could all be social distancing again. Because at the end of the day, we're surrounded by scared sheeple and they're going to follow the rules regardless. But let's go ahead and dive right in and see what's going on here. A mysterious pneumonia ripping through Chinese schools sparks fears among scientists of a Beer bug repeat. Students and teachers have been struck down. Classes are getting canceled. Scientists today called for vigilance and transparency from China amid reports of a mystery cluster of pneumonia, which has eerie similarities to the early beer bug outbreak. Hospitals in Beijing are overwhelmed with sick children and unusual symptoms that include inflammation in the lungs and a high fever, but no cough. Dr. Jennifer Nuzzo, an epidemiologist and director of the Scamdemic Center at Brown University School of Public Health, says that we should hold all countries to the same standard. Referencing China's history of covering up new outbreaks, which happened in 2003 with the original SARS and in 2019 with the beer bug. Dr. Neil Stone, an infectious disease specialist, doctor at the University College in London, wrote on the platform formerly known as Twitter, the last time I saw reports of an outbreak of undiagnosed pneumonia in China, I thought, nah, no big deal. It won't amount to much. That was in December 2019. Not making that mistake again. The alert around China was issued late on Tuesday via ProMed, a large publicly available global surveillance system that monitors infectious diseases. It was a pro-med notification back in December 19, December 2019, that brought beer bug to the attention of the world. Taiwanese outlet FTV News reported that hospitals were being overwhelmed with sick children in the latest outbreak. It added that parents questioned whether the authorities were covering up the epidemic. But there is a suspicion the new outbreak could be related to mycoplasma pneumonia also known as walking pneumonia, which is reportedly growing in China as the country goes into its first winter without strict beer bug lockdowns in place. The U.S. and the U.K. also saw spikes in infections, such as the flu. Dr. Nuzo says seeing an increased number of people presenting at any hospital is, of course, alarming. It may not be out of the ordinary. We do tend to see increases seasonally, so, let, so it's really too early to say. But anytime we see people going to the hospital, we have reason to be concerned about it. 
State-run media outlet Six Tone reported that one-tenth of patients are coming from out of town because they cannot access bronchioscopes in their hometown. The Beijing Center for Disease and Control Prevention said that more than 3,500 cases of this respiratory infection had been, admit had been admitted to the Beijing Children's Hospital since the start of October. A staff member at the Beijing Friendship Hospital Pediatrics Department said there is a 24-hour wait for emergency cases to be seen. They're still dealing with calls that we took yesterday, the worker said. They haven't even started on today's calls yet. There are at least 1,000 people waiting in the queue. The calls coming in today won't get seen until tomorrow or the next day. We're taking more than 1,000 calls a day. According to the state-run Hybo News, the Children's Hospital of Capital Institute of Pediatrics had so many patients on Tuesday that the outpatient desk stopped accepting new patients by the afternoon. At that point, 628 people were waiting in line to see a doctor at the emergency department. Elsewhere, the situation in the Lao Ning province is also grim. The lobby of Dowling Children's Hospital is reportedly full of sick kids receiving medications. There are also long queues of patients at the traditional Chinese medicine hospital and the central hospital. Some school classes have been canceled altogether. So from what they're saying, hospitals are already overrun. They're already canceling school. They already have the social distancing rules in place. They already have the mask mandates rolling out. I'm assuming they may see some stricter lockdowns in the area. I think it's funny that this happens just as China starts to loosen up on a lot of the restrictions that they had. Now, unlike the last one, unlike the beer bug, this seems to be mainly affecting kids, okay? The last one mainly affected older people. They tried to pretend like it affected kids and, oh God, your kids need to get this medication. We need to pump your kids with this and that, when in reality, young people were unlikely to be affected by it. This one's totally different. I haven't heard of many cases in adults, mostly it's just kids. Now, if the powers that be couldn't scare you into getting the jab, if they couldn't scare you by using your own health against you, making you feel like, oh, I could get this, I could get that. If they couldn't use that against you to influence you to get the jab, then, then what can they use? A lot of people will say, hey, you know what? I'm going to do what I can. If I die, I die. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people like, when it's your health, a lot of people are like, whatever. But when it's the health of your child, that's different. So there's a lot of people who maybe didn't follow up with the last scamdemic as much because they weren't worried about it really affecting their kids as much. But here... Supposedly, if we're to believe what's going on, this is mainly affecting kids. Now, I don't think that there are many kids dying from it. But, I mean, we know how they tamper with numbers. But I can't help but just feel like, or, or, or I can't help but wonder, are we ever going to regain a sense of normalcy in the world? Growing up in the 90s, things weren't as crazy. There was this period, don't get me wrong, there's always crazy things going on in the world, but it wasn't like how it is nowadays. You know, you could have your, your quiet life back in the 90s. Then, of course, the 2000s rolled around. 
You had the Y2K, everyone was scared. It was the end of the world, the internet, all that stuff in the 2000. 2001, you had September the 11th. So things got a little crazy. But then, you know, throughout the early 2000s, things settled down. We got used to, you know, dealing with the wars over in the Middle East. We got used to having to deal with the extra screenings at the airport. And we found a sense of calm, a sense of normalcy. But now, 2023, over the last few years, there's been, there's been no breaks. There's been no pauses in the madness. I'm aware that the world keeps spinning and there's always going to be crazy stuff happening in the world, but it seems like we cannot catch a break. Am I the only one that feels this way? Let me know down in the comments below. It feels like we cannot catch a break anymore. It, 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 it honestly feels like the powers that be are making sure that we don't catch a break. Even when you think you got a couple of days where things are going kind of normal, some new crazy thing happens. Some unnatural crazy occurrence happens out of nowhere. You got these scamdemics, you got these new viruses, you got these new wars, you got kids getting hurt in school, you got people going crazy everywhere. And my question is, do you all think we will ever ever get another grace period? I can't speak on life before I was here, but I know for a good stretch during the 90s, everything was chill. Everything was chill and kind of copacetic. Then things got kind of crazy for a couple of years there, and then things got really chill. But there is no chill in the modern day. The whole entire world needs to take a chill pill, but it won't. And I'm just wondering, and I want to know what you all think. Will we ever, in this country and in this world overall, regain a sense of normalcy, a sense of calmness? I know it won't last forever. I'm not asking for world peace. I'm just asking that every morning when we wake up, that there's not another catastrophe, another war, another virus, another something. Is that too much to ask for? It's like you can't live your quiet, sheltered life anymore. You kind of have to be plugged into what's going on in this world because there's too much stuff going on. And all of this stuff affects you in so many ways, ways that you may never know. But as of right now, we're going to keep our eyes on what's going on in China. I'm telling you right now, it looks almost like a carbon copy of what has happened before. Hopefully it doesn't get worse. But regardless if it gets worse or not, if the powers that be want to use this as another reason to shut down our world, they will. Let me know your thoughts about that, though, down in the comments below. While you're down there, if you're feeling generous, drop a super thanks to support the channel. Or you can support the channel for free by sharing this video on social media, hitting that like button, subscribing, ringing that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all soon in the next video.